A 20 year old earning the average income will see their super grow to around $5 million based only on compulsory super contributions. With such a large amount of money in an investment account, getting your super money working a little bit harder for you will make a big, big difference to your bottom line. So here's how you can choose a good super fund. Step one is to choose your investment strategy and specifically, do you want to invest in passive index funds or actively managed investments? There is a lot of ways to be right here, but the stats show that index funds perform better more than 80% of the time, so choose wisely. Step two is to shortlist super funds that have good options in the category that you've chosen. So if you want uh, to use index funds, then you wanna choose a, a short list of super funds that give you good access to good index funds. The third is to look at the fees between the funds because if you're essentially getting pretty similar investments, then it really comes down to price and small changes in the fees that you're paying will make a big difference to how your money grows over time. And the final step is to review your super at least once a year. It shouldn't need a lot of changes and you probably won't need to change it year on year, but you wanna make sure that your fund continues to be competitive and has sharp pricing moving forward.